All right, we're back to our genre writing. Go ahead and pull out this sheet that you already finished the narrative writing from a couple of days ago. Today, we're going to focus on the informational kind of writing. We're sticking with the same topic, though. Same topic of being a fly on the wall. But the difference is, this time, informational, you're giving facts. Information gives us specific things that would happen no matter what. It's not necessarily your perspective or your opinion or a story that you're making up. It's just telling things that could actually happen, more like a factual piece of writing. So here are some thoughts. They start with the prompt. It says, what would it be like if you were a fly on the wall? Describe some things that might happen. You literally can think about what it would be like if a fly could hear, what would they hear? Well, they might be able to hear other people, right? They would be able to hear conversations. Now, they want us to elaborate on that. Elaboration is just another word for explanation. You're giving more details. So what do you think if I were explaining that or I were trying to elaborate on it, why would a fly be able to just hear people's conversations? Well, those people wouldn't know because they would just dismiss me, if I were a fly, as an annoying fly and speak freely without worry. So people, they wouldn't even worry. about a fly hearing what they have to say. People want to worry about that. Okay, think about some other ideas. I'm not going to fill in all of this for you today because I want you to think about some things when it comes to being a fly. Where are flies? Where do you see them? You might see them out in nature. So maybe for your idea number two, this has something to do with a fly out in nature, but tell me about it. What are some things that would happen if you were a fly in nature? What about something that was like a secret? Can you think about a secret? If you're having a hard time thinking about some things that could happen in if this really did take place, then maybe stick to these two topics. What is something that could happen in nature? And what is a secret that you might be able to observe? Remember, you must also fill out the elaboration box. That is going to be where you explain what we're talking about. Now tomorrow, that's when you're gonna actually put all this together in paragraph writing. And what you might be thinking is, well, how am I gonna know what to write a paragraph over. Well, let me show you. Here is going to be paragraph number one. Here is going to be paragraph number two. And yep, you guessed it, that idea number three is paragraph number three. Now, I really, really, really want you to try to elaborate, right? We've used that word, explain in great detail what each of these instances might look like. That means you should have anywhere between six to eight sentences for each paragraph. You'll be able to find your writing assignment for tomorrow on Google. Um, it'll be a Google Slides just like it was last time. You'll go to Canvas to access that assignment. Please make sure to message your teacher if you have any questions. Also, if you need some help getting an idea of what informational writing might look like or how to organize it, go back to the screen under your reading or your language course for today, and you're going to notice under the module where you found this assignment, it will say genre writing anchor chart. Take a look at that if you haven't already. It will help explain what each of these genres are.